They're going to keep the pressure on the downtown merchants, on every store on Capitol Street. A native son of Mississippi and war veteran, Medgar Evers was the first NAACP field secretary for his home state. A leader in the civil rights movement, determined to end segregation and create a just society for all citizens, Evers organized voter registration drives, boycotts against businesses, and in 1954, his application to the Ole Miss School of Law was denied, but helped pave the way for the school's integration years later. On June 2nd, 1963, Medgar Evers was gunned down in front of his home by a white supremacist, leaving behind his wife, Murley, and his three young children, Daryl, Rena, and Jay. For 30 years, his death went unpunished until 1994 when Byron De La Beckwith was convicted for killing Evers. Recently, family and friends gathered at Arlington Cemetery, where Evers is buried, to honor the man who served his country, wanting equality for all. So many events that are going on recently commemorating the 50th anniversary and just recently a memorial in D.C. and former President Bill Clinton in speaking about you was saying how you have kept alive the memory and the meaning of your husband's life. What do you think is the, the meaning? He would do everything he could uh, to see that justice prevailed in every part of American life. And the night before he was assassinated, is it true that you all had a conversation about what would happen oh, and how he was expecting something oh, bad to knew. happen? We knew almost from the, from the beginning, both of us are, were native Mississippians. So yes, we did have that conversation, one where both of us cried, held on to each other, and he told me, you must do this for me. You must take care of my children. Mm -hmm and you keep the movement going in your heart. I told him, I can't make it without you. And he said to me, and I wish I forget, you're stronger than you think you are. There have been exhibits and the rifle on display. What was it like for you to see what took your husband's life? I went to this exhibit and there was this rifle in this plexiglass case and I had to stop in my tracks. The trigger represented hatred to me. Well, your husband was right. You are stronger. You are stronger than mm. you think. And you at the inauguration earlier this oh. year, delivering the opening prayer. I know. What was that moment like for you? I used uh, uh, in that invocation something that my grandmother always taught me. God, make me a blessing. And that's what I try to live us. by. I also realize I am more than just the widow of. I'm my own person. The circumstances were difficult, but I welcome all the challenges and all of the changes that come with being the widow of, but of being Merle Evers myself. When these opportunities presented themselves, you were ready and yes. you stepped up and you did it. And you've played at Carnegie Hall. You have I played the piano at Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Hall. How many people oh, can say not, that? Not only that, I sang at Carnegie Hall. That's right. It was a full performance. And I am so proud. I enjoyed myself to no end. And I had on this red dress that was made for me and I was able to lean into the curve of the baby grand and it was just marvelous. It was a dream come true. Thank you. It has been a delight. Well, I thank you, and I'm so pleased to say we are both from Mississippi. Yes, we are. Yes, and the best to you. Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you.